Hi everyone, this video is going to be a little bit different than the ones before considering the reactions because I'll be just doing a review because first of all, I forgot to press recording and like I did once we reached the 8 minute mark in the episode, right? And I thought, alright, I recapped the first 8 minutes and everything I said then my microphone did not even record anything so yeah, there's no audio on it I don't see like what the reason why should I post rea that reaction so I'll just say my review here and that's going to be it. Alright, where do we start? We started like, I think this was the time where um, Inupe actually got released from the jail or juvenile center or something like that. He was locked up somewhere, right? I think so. And we see Coco actually kissing him. But the thing is, we know that he's not really thinking of him. He's trying to imagine, I think that that's Akane because he said later on in the episode that they do have the same fate. And while... That would be like all okay, them being together and everything. I don't think that's what he actually wants. He wants he wants something that's not possible anymore. He wants to be with Akane. And well, she's dead, so he tries his best to do it to Inupi, to live through Inupi. At that point, Inupi actually like loses himself. It's not Inupi anymore. He would have to pretend to be someone else if he wants. I don't think Inupi wants to be with Coco, like first of all. I don't think he even knows about this kiss because he was sleeping. But yeah, if... If somehow, some way, Inupi like would want to be together with Coco, he would have to lose his personality traits, kind of, and like pretend to be Akane, his dead sister, which is very messed up. I think that might be like why he's wearing heels as well, or maybe just a stylistic choice. I, I mean, that's also possible, but just start theory out there. Yeah, and then we saw Akane was actually like I think she's five years old, right? And while just like Coco said, when we grow up, it's not going to be an like big issue a big age gap or anything like that well that is true right now the maturity level of these two is very much different like coco in that time was nine ten maybe and akane was like 15 so there is a big gap in maturity level then the house caught on fire there's also a question did it actually like caught on fire by itself did something happen in the house or was it uh someone else doing someone went to revenge against them family members or something i don't know. and by accident coco actually saved inupi i think he's actually like regretting that choice but once it is done you can't undo it he did try to went like back in to save akane but there were five firefighters already there so that was not possible and yeah after some time akane was taken to the hospital with some severe body burns like all over her body and to fix that it costed 40 million that's where his obsession with money started from and yeah he started getting into some shady business because for a kid making that much money is utterly impossible i don't even know how a kid could make that much money in a shady business but he did try his best but he could not do it in time because akane did die in the hospital and yeah he still can let go of the thought like of him being together with akane or the money at that as well. I think the case with money is like, once you get the taste of it, once you know what mon money is like, it's hard to go back to the normal lifestyle, you know? So that might be the case why he's still obsessed with money. Coco still can't let go of uh, Akane. He still says to Inupe, is this like, like the face you would make while scolding me and everything? He's, he's still very much loves her. But I don't think it would have worked out even if like everything went correctly if nobody died and, and then we got introduced to the vicious four or vicious five the gang that was that they met in juvie that izana founded and they did some serious stuff especially hitani brothers like they smashed the skull of the person that's messed up no way he was living through i knew that already and at the very end of the episode we see hakai and angry forming a little brother's alliance or something like that that was a nice moment. I don't know how they'll take uh, Hatani Brothers down. I don't think that's possible, to be honest. I do hope they get some backup at some point in, in the story. Like, not just them, but the whole common gang. Because they are severely under undernumbered. Like, Tenjiku. Let's say Tenjiku has 50 people. Then Toman has, like, 5 or something like that. And they still, like, managing to kick their asses. Somehow, I don't know how, though. But even, uh, what was it? I think uh, Hanma said that. And that's where we got the backstory of the Vicious Five or something. That no matter how much they resist, they're still going to lose eventually. But we'll see how that turns out. And yeah, I do hope we get some backup at some point in the story. But thank you guys so much for watching. This was, this was my, personally, I think it might be my favorite. Or definitely in the top three of the episode in the show we've seen so far. I think one of the best episodes was also once we saw like Mikey's true power 
in episode 5 or something in the first season when he went against one gang and like just one shot at him but yeah this was a great episode and like it really helped me understand more about Coco and Inofi's character also just like I know I talked about that already but Coco is also probably holding a lot of guilt about not saving Akane and saving Inupi instead and we can see that he never really cared about Inupi did he once he entered the house it, he was not shouting Inupi and Akane he was just shouting Akane he was looking for Akane and by mistake he did save Inupi so he's probably holding a lot of guilt about that as well but yeah that's going to be it for this Range review, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, uh please consider subscribing. Also leave your opinions on this episode down in the comments below and I hope to see you in my next reaction. Bye.